Hi everybody, today's video is about the California Ocean uh, which is behind me, so the new T6.1 so as I said in one of our previous videos the vehicles arrived with us now, it's in the showroom uh, so we've got the ocean here in the showroom, we've got a coast outside uh, we're doing a video on the coast very shortly as well but today's video is all about the ocean so we're going to give you a quick tour which is a similar video we did for the Grand when that just arrived so we'll give you a quick tour around I'll show you some of the new features that's in there these are things we've looked at before at some of the shows and things but obviously now uh, the vehicles actually with us in the showroom uh, so we can spend a bit more time from in there and then in the next couple of weeks we'll obviously be breaking them down and we'll show you individual videos on certain sections of the vehicle as well as we go through so so one of the big differences obviously on uh, the 6.1 is the dash uh, so that's quite a big thing there's lots of new things on the 6.1 uh, but the dash is probably one of the things that, that from a visual perspective yeah, you can see straight away is very different so so if we jump in and the first thing obviously you've got the different steering wheel that's here now uh, so we've got this flat bottom steering wheel leather flat bottom steering wheel which just feels really nice i think nice big uh, display within the cockpit so as standard on the uh, ocean model you get the uh, cockpit the digital display the full screen uh, that's here with the navigation system and uh, now this particular vehicle does have the upgraded navigation system so it's gone to the pro version which gives you the full screen the full width screen that's really really i think it's a really good option um, and it's it just gives it a slightly bigger screen and gives a bigger impression uh, from the front the 6.1 dash uh, the way I kind of describe it is it's a little bit more forward to you. Uh, so everything is, is very easily accessible uh, from the front. Uh, with the previous dash, I think it was a bit more rolled over the top, was how I would describe it. Uh, so things are obviously you have your controls on your steering wheel, which we're used to, that's there. Uh, your navigation system is literally just a hand away, uh, should you need to change that from on here and on your menu systems, uh, which you can go through. Your heater controls. Everything's pretty much in the same place as it is on as it was on the previous model, on the six model. Uh, so it won't be anything new. You know, even these little buttons. The they look different but they're in the same place um, that's there but it just has a completely fresh look uh, and I really do like the uh, the dash that's in here the uh, the seating position it just it feels like everything's just where you need it to be so moving into the uh, into the rear of the vehicle um, you're going to notice this layout is is identical to the six it's no different uh, so your cabinets are all in the same place uh, your seats are all in the same place it's the same seat uh, it's no different, but it looks a lot different, and it looks a lot different because they've used different materials, uh, different colouring, um, so a lot darker colouring, uh, darker grey uh, that's in here, uh, which actually I wasn't too sure about to start with, but the more I see it, uh, the more I like it, uh, and I, I think it's a really good addition to the ocean. I think it just lifts the vehicle up a bit, having the uh, having the different interior. And then as we go towards our cabinets, and we've shown you these before, uh, we're in at the show, but obviously these have changed now, uh, so that we've got different uh, catches that's on them, uh, even to your fridge, which is on here. Uh, different style on your cabinets, uh, all your your handles are different to move them move them out and move them along and open the cupboards uh, it's a lot easier to get into the cupboards uh, anyone who's got a six will know it's a little bit fiddly once you get used to it you're used to it but it's certainly easier to get into the cupboards now uh, with these new handles that's on there as well i like the glass hob um, it does feel like this is actually bigger um, i've not measured it i've not compared it against there but um, whether it feels like it's slightly further out than it was before i don't know whether it is or not i have to uh, compare it, I'll get another one to have a look, but it's certainly sitting here, it just feels like it's a slightly bigger area here. So those obviously come back down, nicely lock in place as well. Uh, we've still got our table, the table's exactly the same as we've had before, no different. And then things like the lighting, uh, the lighting's been improved. You've still got these lights, exactly the same as they were on the on the 6 model, no different from on there as well, they've stayed the same. But they've added a few more things because they're LED now, uh, as you do with the other lights in the ceiling, where you can press and hold them and they get brighter and darker. Uh, the same thing actually applies to these, so as you can see from there, that one's getting brighter, press and hold it. And it does that on all the, the lights that are in here. Uh, and you can in actual fact as well individually turn these lights on and off, so you could turn that one off, turn it back on again. Uh, but also off the control panel, which I'll show you in a minute, which is a great new uh, addition to the vehicle. It's got better from on there. You can actually turn all the lights off uh, in one go, uh, straight off the uh, off the dashboard that's on there, and turn them individually on as well. So like I mentioned before with the lights, for example, with the lights, you just click in the light section that's in there, and there's a thing there for switch off living area lights. You you click that, and all the lights in the uh, in the vehicle, in the living area, go off. 
in one, so you're not having to go around and click them all off. Uh, it's quite a nice easy feature at night, for example, you just want to turn the lights off before you go to bed. Um, that's there, and you can even, for example, within there then, individually go and turn lights on, back on again, inside, all via the control panel, to make it nice and easier. And then obviously you can make them brighter or darker, depending on how you want them to be, uh, that's in the vehicle. Um, that's just one of the little things that's in the control panel. There's lots of other things. Uh, so we're going to do a separate video just on the control panel, how all the, the features, new features work with that, what they're for, uh, and how you uh, how you operate them. Obviously, already got our concept lights as well under here, which are on the side, so you can turn them on and off, as with your uh, cupboard lights. So if I can find the switch, there we go. Covered lights come on and off. So if we look up, we look up into the bed upstairs. Uh, so again, no differences up here as far as how it looks. We've got the bellows on each side uh, as we wrap around from here. Windows are in the same place. The zip out of the front is exactly the same. It's no different uh, to as it was before. Our lighting is the same, which we've still got up in the top section in here as well. So that's not changed at all. Uh, it's all the, uh, the same features and functions that's in there. Uh, the bed itself on the other side of here, that has changed uh, in the sense that it's actually using uh, individual springs rather than the uh, slats that used to go across. Uh, and those are the same as what's in the California uh, Grand in the bed in the back. If you watch the video on what we did on the rear bed section that's on there, it uses the same, same type of springs that's in there as now, which is what actually is above uh, in the Ocean model and in the Coast model as well upstairs. Uh, another new feature of the 6.1 uh, is the control screen, uh, which is up here, which is hugely different to as it was on the on the previous model of the 6. It was only a small screen, it was quite old, it had been like that for a long, long time uh, since the California <laughs> was first started. Uh, so this is a massive improvement, uh, you just press the button to turn it on, uh, and it can be operated either via twisting this round, or it is actually, uh, you can just press it and, uh, and move things across, which is uh, is really nice. And everything is in here. Uh, so, for example, obviously it tells you about your, uh, your battery levels and things, which is on there, your, uh, your water tank features, and then obviously you've got lots of different options as well. Uh, your roof option, for example, is in there as it would have been before, uh, and then settings, alarm clock and things like that, which are all in there. Uh, obviously we're going to do a completely separate video just on, uh, just on the control panel here and show you how, uh, how all these things work. Um, and again, you can then obviously turn the screen off uh, there as well, but that's that's... I think really, really is a, a great improvement. I think that's something that uh, uh, that's really good. I've been quite excited about using it. I've already had a bit of a play with it and uh, we'll be playing with it again to see how it all works. Uh, so we're at the rear of the vehicle now. And again, things probably don't look too much different from the 6, apart from the colour choice of, uh, of the cabinets that's in here as well. But again, we've got our new um, catches on the on the cabinets. Uh, this is a solid panel now here rather than it was a constant heated panel before uh, which I think is again a good improvement that's there. Uh, obviously all your things again were hidden before uh, are still in the same place so uh, your water and your gas and things like that are all still where they were, no different. Your lighting on the rear is all the same again that's there uh, but one new feature is your comfort mattress so this is an optional extra, uh, this vehicle's got it uh, and it's slightly differently now where previously the comfort mattress was just one unit now you've got your standard uh, which is here which comes with all the vehicles and then this which is the optional extra, the comfort mattress so when your bed is down as with that one you just pull it across uh, and that makes out the full bed uh, section that's there and again we'll be doing a separate video on the beds on both the bottom and the upstairs bed to show you how they work but one nice little feature they've added to that uh, is with this bench under here previously was um, uh, like a grate where it's now it's a solid board but what that solid board also allows you to do is to actually put it up in different positions and if you check out one of the videos we've already done which showed at one of the shows we showed how this was cool, but it will actually allow you to lie back Uh, so with this extra section back up here, it just gives you a lot more versatility. So for example, you could just be relaxing uh, like this. You could have a, a TV or a laptop or something on the side but watching TV that's there. So just another, just a bit more versatile that's in the back with the bed section that's on here. And this will actually come further up as well. It comes out quite high if you want it to, or a little bit lower. Uh, it'd be quite nice to sit. Uh, in the summer, for example, if you've got the roof open as well, it's in there as well. You can just have a lazy afternoon in here. Uh, it's quite nice. And obviously this is with the bed completely flat. So the vehicle we've got in the showroom here is a twin colour. Uh, so we've got the bay leaf green and the candy white. 
Uh, I've also gone for the optional extra as well. I've got the 18 inch aloe wheel upgrade as well. Uh, there's a few of those to choose from. I think it looks stunning in this colour. Uh, I wasn't quite sure when I ordered it. It was a bit <laughs> without seeing it in the flesh first, but I've really been uh, very, very pleased with the, uh, the colour choice that's here. Uh, our other ocean that we've got arriving as well is a copper bronze uh, one with the white as well. Uh, and I'm hoping that's going to be about the same when that arrives as well. We'll have a look at that uh, as well when that vehicle comes in. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, so it was a quick look around the, the ocean which we've got in here, some of the quick new features. We're not going into a great deal of detail about any of them. It was more so you could have a look. Uh, so very shortly going to change when we actually release these videos. Uh, so we, we're keeping with the same uh, timings of them. So there'll be one midweek uh, and one at the weekend. Uh, what we're going to be doing though is going to be concentrating on the ocean model and the coast model. Uh, so the T6.1. Uh, we're going to be concentrating those at the weekend uh, so we're going to be releasing those videos at the weekend and we're going to be doing the California Grand videos they're going to be coming in on the Wednesday the midweek slot so next video that's coming up on the actual 6.1 behind me will be exactly the same as this video but for the coast and then obviously then we're going to progress from those on to individual videos as well so as always hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have if you can give us a, a thumbs up a like that would be great uh, if you don't already subscribe please subscribe and tick the uh, tick the bell and we'll see you soon